Hi, this is a quick tutorial showing you how to use a Buley 4008 or 2008 Super 8 camera. It's a unique design and is a professional Super 8 camera. Its battery is this cylindrical piece here, which screws into the side of the camera. It's a rechargeable cell, screw it in. And to recharge it, you would just plug the recharger into this mini jack input at the back of the camera. To switch the camera on, at the back of the handle is a switch which you depress with the heel of your thumb, there, and the shutter release is this circular button on the front of the camera here. The cameras were designed to give you full control of your filming, so there are quite a few dials and switches on the side which may seem a little bit confusing when you first pick it up. But it's actually really straightforward. First dial up here is to set the ISO or your film speed. So this is currently set for 200 ASA. It goes from 10 ASA all the way through to 400 ASA. Your filming speed is set here. You can go from 2 frames per second to 50 frames per second. This one is set to 18 frames per second. These are footage counters. This meter here tells you how much film you've got left on your reel. And this tells you how many frames you shoot in one burst. On the front here is a control for auto and manual shooting. Auto would set the aperture for you automatically. Manual, you set the aperture yourself. And there's also a, uh, a setting at the back of that called test. This is to test whether you've got enough juice in your battery or not. Um, the idea being you stick it onto test and you look through the viewfinder with the camera switched on. There's a needle that you'll see on the right hand side when looking through the viewfinder. If the needle is pointing up, that means you've got plenty of juice in your battery. If the needle is pointing down, that means your battery is running low. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to run the camera in manual mode. Uh, manual mode is my preferred way of shooting with these cameras um, just because they shipped with these servo controls underneath and on the 4008 on top of the lens and the servo controls would control, this controls the aperture and then on the 4008 model uh, there would be another servo here which would control the zooming. I find them a bit slow, a little bit esoteric. They were innovative at their time, but manual mode is actually a lot quicker for shooting. So to start using the camera, you'll need to set the diopter control to your own eyesight. And to do this, there are three steps. First step is to set the zoom on the lens barrel to fully zoomed in, i.e. at its most telephoto. Then you want to set the focusing to infinity. You'll also want to engage a small switch here. This switch here um, uses a little glass focusing screen inside the viewfinder. So when you turn it forward or anti-clockwise, a focusing screen will, you'll see it move down into the optical path. And the idea being that this screen has a granular quality to it and allows you to get pinpoint uh, sharp focusing when looking through the viewfinder. So to set the diopter control, fully zoomed in, set to infinity, open the aperture fully wide open. So on this lens, it's 1.9, engage the focusing screen and then point the camera at a distant object like a lamppost down at the end of the street, look through the viewfinder and turn the diopter control until it's really sharp to your eyesight. And then that, once that's set, that's set to your eyesight. So to focus the camera when using it, it's the same procedure. The first thing you need to do is engage the little focusing screen here by turning that forward or anti-clockwise. Zoom fully in on your subject. Open the aperture fully open 
to 1.9 on this lens or it might be 1.8 on other lenses and then focus on your subject zoom out to your desired focal length you then want to set the aperture so that in through the viewfinder you'll see a needle the same needle that we use for the battery test you need to turn the aperture ring until that needle settles in the middle of the viewfinder and that will be giving you the correct exposure and then the last thing is to disengage the glass focusing screen before you shoot so you'll just get used to turning that back and then shooting so to go through that again to focus you need to open your aperture fully open to 1.9 you need to zoom fully in you need to engage the glass focusing screen here by turning that forward or anti-clockwise focus zoom out to your desired focal length turn the aperture ring until the needle is in the middle in the viewfinder and then disengage the focusing screen there and shoot and that's it it seems like quite a lot to do just to get a shot but actually after two or three shots it will become second nature so good luck with that okay